Which digital marketing skill should I learn first? Here is my opinion. If you wanna be a good marketer, I'd recommend you actually learn copywriting first as a skill set. And here's why. When you're writing, for example, paid media, you're creating advertisement material. And in that advertising material, you need to put the right words to convert someone. And that's where copywriting comes in. Copywriting is the idea that you can sell things or get people to take action based on the words you write. And so if you're doing paid media, but you don't have a copywriting background, your advertisements will not perform as well. Same goes for like blogs and, and social media campaigns. Like if you're creating YouTube videos, you need to make sure you write a title for that video that'll capture attention and make someone want to click the video. That's again copywriting. But if you skip the copywriting and you go straight to video editing, you won't be able to capture attention that well. So if I were you, in my personal opinion, some people might have different opinions, I'd recommend you learn the art of copywriting because you will start learning how to persuasively word things in the right way that'll make someone either buy something from you, subscribe to your newsletter, click a video you made, whatever it is to psychologically persuade someone to take an action, you'll learn that through copywriting. So I'd recommend you start with there, but here's, let's, let's step back a little, okay? I get a lot of people asking me, like, which stream of digital marketing should I go into and how do I know if it's right for me, especially if it's right for me. This is my thought. You won't know if it's right for you unless you try it. When you're starting off your digital marketing career, I'd recommend you get into a generalist slash coordinator role, where basically you're doing everything related to digital marketing. This is most likely you're gonna be working at a startup or a small agency, and then you're gonna be doing social media here, uh, email marketing here, websites over here, paid media here, influence marketing. And the idea here is to get your hands wet with all these digital marketing skills, once you learn a bit about each, you'll start realizing which one you like the most. From there, once you realize what you like the most, double down on that and become really good at that. Because once you get highly specialized and known for that one skill set, you'll get paid a ton more later into your career. Again, the higher you, the more you specialize, the more you get paid. But to specialize in the first place, you gotta try out a bunch of things, see what you like, and then just double down on it. You know, personally for me. I started my career in a lot of general marketing roles. I was doing emails, social, blog, podcasts, YouTube, all this stuff. And slowly as I started freelancing more, as I started working with a lot of different companies, I realized, oh, I hate editing YouTube videos unless it's for me. Like this video is fine, with, I'm fine with editing. But when it comes to editing a client's video, I'm like, oh, talking head video is so boring. Then I was like editing podcasts one day for a client and I'm like, okay, I can do pod. I, like, I, I had my own podcast. I can edit another person's podcast. And I realized, oh my God, podcasts are so boring because they're so monotone, holy crap. And then one day my manager, a manager I was working with, he was like, hey, look at all this paid media stuff and it's all numbers and tables and numbers and you get this up by 2%, 3% click rate, blah, 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 impressions. And I was like, dude, this is all numbers. And I had to just make one little tweak and test out different variations to see the numbers go up, up, up. It, it's just a lot of analytics for me, but I started noticing I loved email because there's something about writing a really persuasive, good copywritten email and getting that people to click the button in the email that I just loved. And you can see some numbers to see what can I improve on and whatnot, right? There's a lot of strategy work, there's a lot of creativity work. I loved it and therefore I started doubling down on it. So later into my career, I started getting into roles like lifecycle marketing specialist marketing automation specialist, email marketing specialist, right? Very nice and niche. And the more I progressed into my career, the higher I started getting paid because again, I was specializing in what I liked the most. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you want more free courses related to marketing on how to get into digital marketing without experience, or maybe you wanna learn how to make your first $5,000 as a freelance digital marketer, check out my free courses down below in the description of this video. With that being said, my friend, I will see you in the next video. Peace, peace, peace.